Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be looking at more prayers of the faith, and this time, a prayer to St. Anthony. St. Anthony of Padua was a Portuguese Franciscan friar and a priest. He personally met St. Francis, who saw in him a kindred spirit, and he soon began teaching others in the Franciscan order, who were looking to be ordained. He only lived to the age of 35, but God worked many healings and miracles through him throughout his adult life, at least one of which involved a missing item, and for this reason he's referred to as the patron saint of lost items. There is, of course, a mini-poem that's sometimes used to request the help of St. Anthony in finding lost items, but the prayer we'll be looking at today is longer and more reverent, if a bit harder to remember. St. Anthony, Perfect Imitator of Jesus St. Anthony conducted himself similarly to Jesus in many ways, his regular traveling, his teaching and preaching, his virtuous detachment from material possessions, and the miracles that God worked through him. Even the amount of time he spent in this life was similar to how long Jesus was on earth before his ascension into heaven. Who received from God the special power of restoring lost things. During his time with the Franciscans, there was a young man who'd become a novice among the Franciscans, which means that he was still being tested to determine his fitness for the position. He took a book that St. Anthony was using which contained the Psalms. Now back then, books needed to be copied by hand, so they were very expensive. St. Anthony prayed hard for the book to be returned. The novice saw a shocking vision of St. Anthony and returned the book. This is one reason why St. Anthony became the patron saint of lost items. Grant that I may find, mention your petition, which have been lost. This prayer is said when someone is searching for something they've lost, or which has gone missing through some other means. At least restore to me peace and tranquility of mind, the loss of which has afflicted me even more than my material loss. Often, the loss of a material possession isn't really as serious as losing our temper, and this prayer takes that into account, requesting mental peace even in cases where the item itself might not be found. To this favor I ask another of you, that I may always remain in possession of the true good that is God. None of us should want to lose our relationship with God. This prayer asks St. Anthony to help us keep that relationship, asking for the most important things last, and the least important first. Let me rather lose all things than lose God, my supreme good. If you had to choose between losing your television, bed, and car, or losing one million dollars tax-free, I think most people would choose the former. When we have a greater good, we don't need to worry so much about losing lesser goods. In a similar way, the goodness of God is far greater in value and more versatile and useful than the good things we receive here on earth. Therefore, we should fear losing God much more than losing anything or even everything else. Let me never suffer the loss of my greatest treasure, eternal life with God. Amen. It always comes back to heaven in the end, our ultimate end goal. Heaven is the worst possible thing to lose. So, in short, this is a prayer in which we ask St. Anthony to help us find what's lost, and especially to keep us from further loss, especially of the things that are most important. Next time, what is the Veni Sancti Spiritus? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.